Well, hello, beautiful people. My name is Bridget, and welcome back. So, in the previous video, you may have seen me cut my hair as well as strip the color out in the most unhealthy way possible to get me to this sea foam <laughs> and blonde moment that we have right now. This is a mess. I've had this for two days now, just kind of trying to pace myself in this whole hair situation. And for day three, I have to put color in it. Like, I have so many things to do tomorrow. It's a whole thing. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm trying a new brand I've never tried out before today. Today I'm trying out Strawberry Leopard. This is the color, I or kid you not. It looked like this on Sally's website. So it looked like a really cool, fun, vibrant color. The bottle looks different. And then inside it looks different too. And this is thick and chunky. This is like a thick, galopity, semi-liquid poo situation. We're gonna put in my hair. Also, I found these gloves in my husband's toolbox. And they have like a staining. I don't know what this staining is. Hopefully that doesn't get in my hair. I'm actually excited to try a new brand that I never tried before today because, well, I always use Arctic Fox and like Lime Crimes and Good Die Young. I'm excited to try a new color. However, this thick, goopy chunkiness that's so stiff somehow that doesn't even fall off the brush is a little concerning. This is the texture of this is weird. I'm hoping it's not gonna be like pink but the discrepancy between this color and the bottle color and the website color is all different shades. So I guess we're gonna find out, you guys. <laughs> I guess we're gonna find out. It looks purplish pinky. Like that's how it looks on the hair. Because I've never tried it before though, I don't know how saturated it's gonna be. It says leave on for 20 to 30 minutes. So I'm at least gonna leave it on for that amount of time. Since it is a conditioning treatment, this is not gonna damage my hair at all. So if I left it on for longer, it wouldn't hurt it. I guess we'll just play it by ear and see how long I think I need to leave it on. This was also $17 for this bottle of hair dye. And it smells good. Kind of has like a light, sweet kind of smell to it. it. Smells good. I just don't know how well this saturates, you know? And also, of course, you should section your hair when doing this, but I'm not gonna. Like, I'll. I'll pull it through and go through the layers probably but we're just gonna just it's just a semi-permanent hair color long as you cover the hair you should be good I guess since we're here together let's just chat because it's kind of just boring dyeing my hair in silence <laughs> so tomorrow is Wednesday for me so today's Tuesday but this week is gonna be such a busy week. I don't know if today, like tonight-ish, like six o'clock or so, I have something to do. Like we scheduled a house tour. Um, I'm not sure we're doing that tonight, but tomorrow is like, this apartment has an inspection for the next three days. We don't know which day they're gonna come. They said they can come from like 8.30 to 5.30 and uh, so I gotta get up really early and make sure I'm in the shower by 8. So if they do come at like the first thing, because you never know. You know, I won't be naked <laughs> to come inspect the apartment and stuff. I think they're just checking to see, you know, if everything looks kosher. I'm not really sure. But that's like something that's been worrying me. Just because, you know, you never know. And I did paint the bedroom black and the bathroom black. And, you know, you weren't supposed to paint, but it's nothing a coat of paint can't fix. If we're going to fix it when we leave, you know? kind of worried about that and then like if they come in the afternoon time I gotta kind of lock the cats away because the animals have to be secure when they're here and I'm not gonna be here tomorrow in the afternoon time which is weird for me usually like <laughs> I won't leave the house maybe once a week on the weekend I don't really go anywhere but of course the week they have to do a home inspection is the week I have a tattoo appointment which I'm super excited about but also concerned about at the same time I love tattoos I think that's pretty just obvious and I book these appointments months and months and months in advance. But I'm concerned because I hate, hate, hate laying down to get tattooed. I hate laying down to get tattooed. Like when I got this last, this Sweeney Todd tattoo last, he was like, hey, do you want to lay down to be more comfortable? Like, no, please don't make me lay down. I'm doing the top of the arm so I don't have to lay down and get tattooed. I hate laying down to get tattooed. It's the most awkward thing in the world. I feel like everybody's looking at all my chins because you're just laying like this. It's uncomfortable. <sighs> it's for hours on end you're laying there on I don't like laying there or sit there for hours I'm sorry it's just me and but I also don't like this part of my arm being naked you know it 
I, I, I don't like it being naked. So I'm like, oh, what if I just get on the top of the arm tomorrow, you know? I got top of the arm space, which is top of the arm, so I don't have to lay down. I could just like, or like, I don't know, probably still got to lay down. <laughs> Why laying down for a tattoo gives me so much anxiety, I don't know. And I just dropped hair color on the floor. But I think everyone has their things they just don't like, and that's mine. I don't like laying down to get tattooed. It's a petty thing to complain about, especially for something that's voluntary, like... I made the appointment, I wanted this. I just hate laying down to get tattooed so much. I don't know anybody else that's like that. Everyone else like prefers to lay down. I hate it. It's just so awkward, I think. Why this is an issue I have the day before my appointment, it's always like this, I don't know. So I guess, by the time you'll see this video, I'll have the tattoo, so. Here's a picture of it, if I remember to take a picture of it. I don't, I don't know if I will. So yeah, that's where I'm at. That's, that's my thing for tomorrow. I gotta wake up really early because there could be a house inspection. I gotta lock the cats away and they're just gonna cry and scratch the door, you know, because they don't like being locked up. And this is their house, I get it. They don't want to be locked up in their own house. Um, but I gotta wake up really early for that and then I have a tattoo appointment in the afternoon that I'm very excited for because I love getting tattooed and I love having tattoos and I love the artistry behind it. And I appreciate the work that the tattoo artists do. I just hate laying down for it. <laughs> so this thick, clumpy uh, hair dye texture though, I've already squeezed out half the bottle and I haven't coated all my hair yet by far. Like, majority of my hair is untouched. So I don't think this like goes a long way. I don't think this hair color is as saturated as I want it to be straight off the bat because I see it in my hair and it just kind of tinted the blue. Like I feel like if I had used an Arctic Fox or a Good Dye Young, it definitely would have coated it more where the pigmentation of the dye itself would have covered this light blue situation. So I'm not confident about how this is gonna turn out. To be quite frank, we might have to dye it like a dark purple that I already have in my stash after this. I wanted to keep it true to this color, like the Orchid You Not color that I bought so we can you know, this is a good review of what the color looks like on hair. Um, I'm just not sure the pigmentation is there to really cover. You know, like of course it's going to go on top of whatever color I already have in my hair. I'm not stupid. However, I just know how other colors would cover this. And to me it's just kind of tinging the color I already have instead of like cup coating the hair if it, I don't know how to explain it. Okay, it's been half an hour. The hair looks dark. You know, I'm actually, I mean, besides the fact that I still have some on my face, I think this might be cute. It might be pink, it might be purple, it might be blue still. I don't know, I'm gonna rinse it out and we'll guess we'll see the big, wonderful reveal or you'll see me in the bathroom again and we'll have to recolor it. Okay, I don't like it. <laughs> the color itself, like this color, looks cool. But like I was saying that I didn't think it was like pigmented enough. Also, my hair is still kind of wet because I'm just going to re-dye it. Um, even the parts, like let's say near my roots and stuff where I was perfectly blonde is inconsistently dyed. I know down here is going to be darker and you can obviously see where the blue was. Obviously, I knew it wasn't going to be like... My hair wasn't blonde underneath. I get that. However, I do think the dye should have done more. This is not the color that was shown on the website. It's not the color that was in the bottle like when it squeezed out. This is like a totally different vibe. I like the pinky kind of purpley color, but it just didn't like poof, overcoat the hair enough. You know, I even heated up my hair to make sure it was like warm and everything and processing properly. It's just really inconsistent. I know the color I had underneath was blue. Um, I just wish this was darker and more vibrant. Like it is very kind of pastel-y for what it said it was going to be. So I'm gonna go throw on some purple mixtures, some, some dyes I already have. And I'll be right back with like some makeup and a good reveal because I feel like we've seen me dye my hair purple a bunch of times. So I'm just gonna go do it real quickly with different dyes and we'll see how much better pigmentation and evenness I can get with that. Okay guys, so this is the finished look with the new hair color. I just used Violet Dream from Arctic Fox because I know it's gonna be that pigmentation that I wanted. I know there's gonna be a bunch of people in the comments probably thinking I was too harsh on the other hair color that I tried today, the strawberry leopard one. But to me, it didn't really have the, the punch of color that it needed. 
especially for like what the before and after pictures online and everything looked like it didn't have that punch it kind of just looked like kind of coated your hair kind of did a tint deal to it also the kind of pastel vibe it gave me kind of made me think it was going to wash out very quickly so I went ahead and went over it with some violet dream from Arctic Fox um I didn't have a whole bottle so I just kind of did what I wanted with it I just kind of spread it everywhere it's much prettier now much more vibrant consistent it is still not perfectly consistent but you know I wasn't on a time crunch today you guys I told you this is the last time I have today this week to do this hair color but I feel cute I feel like myself I feel like I've done purple so many times it's not really fun to record it anymore but I want to try that new brand and I hope you guys enjoyed this video so I'm purple for the time being just until things in my life calm down like I said I have two things going on tomorrow something going on tonight you know a couple things going on the rest of this week that's just making me really busy I'm glad I had a couple things pre-filmed for this week honestly or else I would have been so far behind but thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video bye guys have a great day